ladies and gentlemen, wiggity, welcome to the first episode of LBW Reboot after probably the greatest LBW pay-per-view of all time, something we call in Cage Brutality. The draft has seen people come and go from Reboot in Bloodborne, but after all those picks, we are still here with some fire matchups. So up next, please introduce the debuting Angel Garza. The contest of one falls at number one contenders match for the United States Championship. Introducing first, Angel Garza. Garza is a one cocky mofo making his debut in LBW here. As he is ready for entering competition as he takes on Kyle O'Reilly, baby. No Adam Cole. And there is Angel Garza as we await his opponent, Kyle O'Reilly. As Angel Garza is on the top rope. Just one cocky mofo if you haven't noticed yet. Oh my god, this is an MJF. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an MJF. If you remember who this is, I feel so bad for you. And introducing his opponent, Cool Kyle! He's back. What else does he have to do since he's not with Fish and the boys anymore? I'm gonna rap, yo! I'm gonna rap, yo! Yeah! Cool Kyle is back with me, no Adam Cole. I kick you in the head and kick your soul. Jeez, fire bars, Kyle. Kyle is alone on the brink of his saddle. Four months of so made 100 grand. Kyle, you stuttered, you suck. Latino world order, stop living in the past. After this, I really got a blast. You can't rap on beat, you suck. Garza, you said before these ladies, all you do is pout and pout. Cool Kyle was the name they scream and shout. Kyle, you need to work on that. I will admit it was pretty fire, but you need to work on that. But it's Cool Kyle and Angel Garza. Kyle takes off the hat and throws it at Garza. Kyle is ready for competition as he puts the chains to the side. He is ready for this match. Go on, going one on one with Angel Garza. You ready? You ready? Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. These two. Oh, Kyle going immediately after Garza. Punches to the face. Punches to the face. Punches to the face. Oh my god, but Garza sends him off. And Garza with his own punch to the face of Kyle. Oh my god. Garza had to put a stop to cool Kyle for a minute. And now, oh, so hot shot stunner. Hot shot stunner by Garza going in the corner. Looking. Oh, so our top rope. Boot salt by Garza to cool Kyle. Cool Kyle is feeling the effects of that as Garza sends cool Kyle off the ropes now. What's he looking for? Garza. Oh, drops down, and a drop kick to Kyle right in the face. After that beautiful drop kick, Garza going for the cover. One, kick out at one by Cool Kyle. Being very cool as a knee right to the midsection by Garza. Now Garza looking suplex, but Kyle, Kyle is reversing here. Cool Kyle is reversing here. Oh, and now, oh, brain buster by Cool Kyle going for the cover. One, two, kick out, and a forearm to the back of the neck. And now, oh, Garza. He took out the leg of Kyle there. Kyle's on the ground and Garza, oh, rips off the pants and throws him in Kyle's face. That's nice, Garza. Now yelling at him and kind of laughing. He seems like he's laughing here. He's now going for Kyle, but Kyle forearm. And now Garza and Siguri. Oh my goodness, is Garza trying to get up now, but Kyle going after the leg and trips him out like an older brother. And now Kyle, wait, is that Alberto Del Rio? Is that Del Rio? Is that Alberto Del Predator? And now pushes Kyle. He pushes Kyle right into the wing clipper. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Angel Garza wins his debut match and is number one contender for the United States Championship with the help of Alberto Del Rio. This man, this is, this is a briefcase. For it has unclosed information, but this man, this man will be the future of this brand. This man will be the face of the United States and the face of Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, words from Del Rio, but uh, let's head to commercial break, baby. What? Sir, we have received numerous noise you complaints coming from this residence. Dude, I just started the movie. It's been can quiet. You, can, sir, can you please turn the movie down? Dude, no. Sir, wait. Sir, dude, keep it down. There's a dog that barks if you're too loud. It's after hours. Can you please leave? Sorry. I'm gonna have to turn the volume down, though, what, okay? What's your badge number? You have no badge. Uh, what's your badge number? 12. What? No. Yes, you're, no, it's, it's bullshit. 
No, leave. Sir, I'm gonna have to come in and turn the volume down. Get him out. Get him out. Sir, that's leave. You're assaulting an officer. Oh, sure. Oh, her. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. What's your emergency? There's a guy impersonating a police officer. He's stalking and harassing me. All right, we'll send someone over. Thank you. Oh my god, that was quick. Sir, I've received a call that there oh is a man impersonating a police officer. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall is for the OBW Intercontinental Championship. Introducing first he is the new Intercontinental Champion, Chris Danger. Danger, the new Intercontinental Champion, making his debut in the casino ladder match for that said championship. He is ready for competition. God, he's back? He's back? It's been like, what, a month and a half? He's been gone practically half the summer. He's back! Fine. And introducing his opponent, the Ring General, Walter! Wait, who's that next one? I can't tell who that's next to him. Who's that next to him? I need to know, who is that? I'm trying to see who that other guy is next to Walter. Oh, wait. He's turning his head? Is that the brain? It's Bobby the Brain Heenan! Okay! That's a nice manager for Walter here. It's him and Bobby the Brain Heenan making their way to the ring here. Bobby the Brain Heenan, this is his first LBW appearance. He was announced as a signee months ago. He was also picked in the draft. There is Walter. What a feared individual. Probably one of the most chonkiest men in OVW. There's the theme cuts for the Intercontinental title. And there is Bobby the Brain Heenan once again. Ready? Ready? Ready about? Ding, ding, ding. And now Walter looking test of strength with Danger. And oh, Danger gets it, but he's overpowered. And Walter misses the boot. Danger pulls him down. And now going to the work, going to work in the yard. Danger still going to work in that arm. Walter, big forearm shot to the head. Big cheap shot and a super kick for his troubles. Now picking up Walter, big punch in the face. Chop! Walter's the chop god as he punches Walter in the face. Puts him in the corner, big punch and a back elbow by Danger. Danger already looking final calling, but he's having some trouble getting Walter on his shoulders and I cannot blame him. Walter is one chunky individual, but he's overpowering. He has the strength. Final calling to Walter already. But Bobby the Brain and drags him out of the ring. And these two talking trash to each other. Talking absolute trash to each other. Bobby the Brain just made his appearance as there's Walter with a slingshot cross body over the top. And Walter gets into the ring. Oh my goodness, as he's dragging danger in from the head. He's looking for that assisted side power bomb. Oh, is he gonna hit it? Is he gonna hit it? Is he gonna hit it? Oh, he's so close. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. Oh no, he's gonna throw him over the top rope. But danger gets down. Danger gets down. Danger get down. Big forearm shots. Danger going for a schoolboy roll up. One, two, kick out at two by Walter. And these two go straight into a collar and elbow tie up. As we know, Walter is gonna get that advantage right there as he puts danger in a headlock. And now as Danger backing him up against the ropes, smart move and Danger sending Walter off with the strength, he threw himself to the ground and Walter's shoulder tackles Danger. And now Walter off the ropes, Danger's getting up, oh goes right back down as Walter jumps over Danger. And Danger, oh wait, misdirection, super kick, misdirection, and then a super kick. And but Bobby the Brain Heenan, he's looking for an old school pile driver, but no, these two, Bobby the Brain Heenan go for a punch. And, and oh no, he got caught, and Danger cocks back, what, oh, 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 he's scared. He's scared for his life. He's scared for his life. And now it's getting up. Now looking for a punch. No, no, no. Final calling by Danger. Final calling to the brain. Do it already, you goddamn bomb. Final calling. But Walter cross body to Danger. Oh my goodness. Walter up top. Oh no. Oh no. Walter with the big splash to Danger. One, two, three. No IC champ. What? This is now Walter's second IC title reign. Here's your winner and new Intercontinental Champion, Walter! Can he hold it for more than a week this time? Walter is in his second LBW Championship reign. 
as we head to commercial break. No commercial break here, folks, because, you know, last time I did the commercial break on the first of the third tries of putting this reboot out. It was Max Caster's AEW Dark Rap. I thought it'd be fine since AEW Dark is on YouTube. Uh, and it got me a fucking blocked from the entire planet. Like, the video got blocked from the entire planet. So, this is the commercial break you're getting. Jericho... I I'm gonna explain more in the fucking... Net. Jericho should be in the ring, but I'm gonna explain more in the next clip right about... Now. Hold on, hold on. I gotta set this up. Right about... Now. I'm just pissed off. Now I'm just pissed off. I said there Jericho was gonna be in the ring, and he's and he is. Okay, so he comes out to the you know because because the audio didn't save and it pissed me off. So Jericho comes to the ring. He says, "Uh, welcome. I'm the OBWE champion. This happened so long ago. Blah blah blah. I'm the greatest of all time. Uh, your mom sucks. Um, and he says, I'm open to all the challengers. Austin. He called out Austin Swagger since he's on Bloodborne, and he, and he laughed at him because now he can't go after the elite title. Um. He said so he also said something, uh, he was like, oh, to people who work their asses off in the locker room, something, something, something like that, this is your opportunity. So Kevin Owens comes out, says something about them being longtime friends, and now we can get back to the fucking segment. Come on, Jericho, we've been buds for years, we were the OGs, we were the originals in LBW, we are both first ballot Hall of Famers, you know I should get the first servings and the first shot at the LBW Elite Championship. You know it. You know it. You know it. Oh, and here comes Buddy Murphy. Nah, May Owens, you know that's bullshit. Me and you had a classic, and I beat you fair and square. So, I want to know. What was that promise you told me at the end of the match? You knew I was going after the elite title. You said you wouldn't get in my business, and here you are. I spent eight years in a piss ant company. Jericho, I am one hungry mo fucker. I think I deserve a shot at the elite championship. Not frickin' Owens. What does this motherfucker want? I might be an offensive mofo, I also might be a douchebag, but what I am is a very good friend. While Austin is going to be wasting his career being jobbered over on the thing we call LBW Bloodborne, ew, I will avenge him. I will become the new elite champion, Jericho. And that is just a fact. That is just a friggin' fact, Jericho. Owens, you haven't won a title in eternity? Murphy hasn't even won a title. And Jericho, before that title, you haven't even won a title in eternity. So tell me, why should they get title opportunities? Because I deserve it better than you guys. I'm a former European champion, if anyone at home even remembers that. All you guys suck. I should be elite champion. I can't. Unwritten rule of the Engage Brutality match was the winning team all got championship shots. So, this is my time to take my elite title shot. Jerrica, you're the fucking goat. You are the fucking goat. Anderson, you're a douchebag. Owens, you're good. Murphy, you're you're Australian. And I have my jacket, and I have the boys. I am Blackheart and the boys. I am the most billionaireish LBW hardcore championships of all time. I deserve the elite title shot more than anyone here. I almost retained my Intercontinental Championship in a casino ladder match. The guy who I lost to already lost it tonight. I beat Walter in BBW. That shit's no. easy. Oh my goodness. Roman Reigns is just something else. I am the tribal chief. I deserve a title shot over offensive man, Kevin Owens, you and you. Dumb and dumber. Owen oh, Blackheart. I can beat Keith Lee any day of the fucking week. Because he's the only competition you bought. Out of this roster. So, Jericho, I will whoop your ass if you give me the chance. Suicide, Wait! 
suicide. Oh, manic. My bad, manic. Uh, book manic. Book manic, man. I have got no opportunities. I have got no opportunities. I rotted away in that crowd for months. My OBW career sucks. Jericho, you said this was open to any and all challengers. You said the people that were hungry in the locker room. Well, I haven't eaten in seven fucking weeks. I've only had one opportunity. Jericho, you said something about, you said something about, you said, you said something about, I'm here to help the up and comers. I'm here to have the new people get opportunities. Well, I deserve a freaking opportunity. I mean, the only one here that wasn't one, hasn't won a title besides Murphy. I'll give Murphy props because he just showed up. But that is about it. I am tired of this. I want an opportunity. I am sick of just being in the background and being thrown in the fucking crowd. I want to wrestle. I was born for this. Manic, you are completely right, and I understand you. So, Owens, Anderson, Manic, Reigns, Blackheart, Murphy. Incredible talents. So I'll give you all something we like to call an opportunity. Because I accept any and all challengers, it'll be me, Owens, Anderson, Manic, Blackheart, Reigns, and Murphy in a seven-pack challenge for the Elite Championship at the October Pay-Per-View! What an announcement! Manic is so excited! Spear my Reigns in a microphone over the head! Oh my god, Blackheart and Murphy going at it! Everyone's brought all over the place! Blackheart's down! Murphy misses the knee! Jericho caught him! Jericho caught him as Anderson! Close lining! Uh, Mar Owens over the top rope and the walls is cinched in on Murphy! The LA champion has the wall cinched in and Anderson kicks at Blackheart's head off his head! Oh my god! And screaming at him and Jericho tosses Murphy over the top rope here! And now, looking for Judas effect to Manic! And Anderson threw Blackheart over the top rope, looking spear! Reigns misses the spear, and with the gun stun, gets stood over the top rope, taking out Owens and Blackheart! And now Anderson and Jericho staring each other down here! Oh no! And now Alicia Cabral punches knees! Big uppercut! And now gun stun to Jericho! Gun stun to Jericho! And Anderson looking around at the place! Anderson looking around and sees the Elite Championship. That could be Anderson's as he picks it up and he stands tall amongst the group with the Elite Championship over his shoulder. And now waving the camera goodbye as we're going to go off the air. As there's a sky view on all the chaos that just unleashed. What an announcement. Seven-pack challenge for the Elite Championship at our October paper.